everyone. Uh, I am making this video to do a little story about my most recent adventure with invisible braces. Um, I thought this might be informative for any brass player uh, who decides to go through this process or is thinking about going through it. I figured I might as well kind of document my journey. So I'm going to try to do a video like this once every two to four weeks. Uh, this is a six month process for me, so I'll just uh, keep you updated on how everything's going. Uh, first of all, the reason that I decided to do this is because my teeth have shifted over time. I never had braces when I was a kid, I've always had fairly straight teeth. Um, and in fact, just looking at me straight on, you probably can't even notice that my teeth are a little bit crooked. Uh, but basically, like this tooth here and this tooth here uh, have shifted over time, so they actually kind of point straight into my upper lip now. Uh, which, as you can imagine, doesn't always feel great when I'm playing the horn. Uh, so I figured now was as good a time as any to try to correct this problem. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. I went for the invisible braces uh, because you can take them in and out. So as a brass player, I think that is obviously uh, the best decision. So as for invisible braces, the ones you've probably heard of before are Invisalign. Uh, I think they're the most common one. Um, I'm going through a different company. It's a Smile Direct Club. So uh, apparently they're just cheaper <laughs> than Invisalign, which is why I went with them. Um, but the way it works is that, so here I have this little um, box thing, and uh, these are my aligners, all right? So these just clip uh, into my mouth. There's no, I think with Invisalign, there's something that they actually cement on your teeth to help uh, keep the aligners in. Uh, with Smile Direct Club, there's nothing like that. I literally just kind of snap them in. Uh, I got these on Thursday night. Uh, it's Sunday morning now. Um, so when I got them, so it's been about three days, um, and I got them Thursday night, put them in, uh, and I was already done playing for the day by the time that I put them in Thursday night when I got home. Um, they don't hurt, but there definitely was, uh, you can feel the pressure in your mouth um, because it's very slowly shifting your teeth. I have heard of people playing with their aligners in. Uh, I tried that Friday morning and it did not go well. <laughs> so um, it's gotten a little bit better as I've tried. I can play a couple octaves with them in. Um, so for, for lessons and things, you know, with my younger students, I will definitely keep them in while I'm playing. Um, but for my own practice sessions and when I'm, you know, teaching my more advanced students, uh, I will be taking them out. The adjustment that happened, and actually I felt a difference immediately when I was playing, even with them out, which was a little bit scary um, because I didn't think I would feel a difference so soon. But literally, uh, you know, like I said, I put them in Thursday night. Friday morning when I was practicing, it felt totally different. Uh, even with them out, it felt totally different. So my teeth are already shifting um, and it was a little bit scary. Um, but now Sunday morning, um, it feels pretty much back to normal. So, you know, I think there's just gonna be a, you know, two or three day learning curve every two weeks. Um, the reason I say that is because with this program, um, I'm supposed to change the aligners every two weeks. So basically you put one in, uh, you keep it in for two weeks and it slowly adjusts your teeth to that aligner setting. And then at the end of the two weeks, you're ready to adjust it some more. Um, so what I imagine is going to happen is that, you know, it'll take about three days to get comfortable with my new teeth setting and then I'll probably feel pretty good on it for about 10 days and then it'll be time to change the aligner and I'll go through the process again. 
Um, so while it was a little scary at first, I'm glad to know that it is definitely a very temporary thing. Um, and since it's adjusting so gradually, it's nice to know that I will be able to get used to it. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited about this. Um, and I think now that I know what every two week chunk is gonna feel like, I can plan accordingly. So for instance, uh, this was a really great time for me to start because uh, I have a, you know, a pretty light week this week, so there's nothing you know, super crazy demanding on my plate. So it's a really good week for me to be getting used to it. Um, if I had started last week, that would have been a very bad time uh, because I was playing a Mahler symphony. So I'm very, very glad that uh, these came in the mail this week and not last week. Um, so I would recommend that, you know, if you're thinking about starting this process, wait until the time is right, especially to start. Um, wait until your week is, is light, playing-wise, so you can really kind of figure out uh, what it's going to be like. And also, while I'm supposed to change aligners every two weeks, um, if I have something important coming up around the time that I'm supposed to change aligners, I'm just not going to do it. I'm just going to wait until the important playing thing is over uh, and then I will change. So, you know, the worst that means is that it might take just a little bit longer than six months for this whole process to be done. Uh, but, you know, we have to perform when we have to perform. So I would rather, you know, show up being able to play my best than risk not sounding good. Uh, as I'm sure, you know, all players understand, you know, we have to sound our best, we have to do what we have to do. So if that means the process takes a little bit longer, that's fine with me. Um, so anyway, I'm going to be just giving these little updates, like I said, probably every two to four weeks. I hope that this can be something that's educational for people, for, for teachers or for students or just for anyone who is thinking about going through this process or has a student who's going through this, you know, I, I hope that these can be valuable to just help you know what to expect. Um, yeah, so, you know, if you want to subscribe to this video, to this channel, so that you can check out when my next update is gonna be and you can kind of keep up to date on this journey, that would be great. Uh, I'll be posting them on Facebook as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm really excited for, a, you know, a new face and a, a, a pain-free playing experience. That sounds great. Uh, and I look forward to updating you guys along the way. See you soon.